Hello everyone, today I'll be trying to get three wins with the Sniper Rider 5H. A very mouthful of a name for a weapon. This is a very notorious weapon for how much it can put out tactic coolers and just paint in general. And even whenever you're not painting, even though you are a two shot for your charge, you get those five charges and it is very easy to just help out with chip damage. This weapon likes long and small zones. This isn't the best map for it, though it certainly isn't bad either. You can very easily just kind of paint over zones at range here. E-leaders do outmatch us, and especially E-leader scopes, but we are still just very close in range that it's not really going to be mattering too much unless you're both playing at your max ranges. I'm just going to be working here towards cooler and then trying to help out my teammates with um, paint support and just maybe even some damage support if my shots land. We got to be careful of this little snipe right here since it is undertow, but other than that, I think we'll be fine. I can very easily just kind of poke their ledge from a very safe distance. I believe you have the same range as a splatter scope, which is very close, if not the same as a regular E-leader without the scope here. All right, got to back up here. They do have the brush rushing me, which I feel safe actually shooting here, maybe. I don't know yet. Uh, there we go. We got some chip damage off. Very nice. Got an assist. Their A-leader is down, so I can just kind of poke at their zone from range. Again, this is a very safe painting weapon. All right, now we're going to see if we want to try and get someone off this way. I'm going to try and just block out one side of this pillar here. That way they can't just keep going anywhere they want. If we can blindside the E-leader too, it's very nice. Since we do have that range, we can kind of just surprise them there. I'm going to try and use my paint to just paint over the zone here. And there's a very quick and easy KO. All right, match number two. The other backline on their team is the Tri-Stringer, which I'm not really too scared about because I have definitely can outplay in a Tri-Stringer. That's not something I absolutely even have to think about in this match. Um, other than that, their team is actually pretty good at painting. They do have an arrow spray. I'm going to try and help out with those dapples there. I missed every single shot. Think of your weapon like a hybrid between a Spotling and a Charger. You've got five times the paint as a Charger or a regular Charger try and help out here uh, i'm not doing great and then you just have the damage pressure of a splat link for short bursts i'm just gonna try and bait this guy out as much as i possibly can thankfully our teammate actually took the kill there i'm gonna give him a tacticular as a reward though he did not take it i'm gonna actually start painting over in their base now if i see someone i will try to attack them all right i've got to back up now make sure i don't die to fall off our sprinklers are nice just as um some damage support not damage support. Why did I say damage support? They're nice as painting support. So if you really want to get your um, try or your tacticular very quickly, just stumbling over my words today, use that. We're just going to go ahead and try and paint over the zone. Now, the snap otter, like I said before, likes the longer and smaller zones, and especially if they're single zones. If they're not single zones, then you're going to have a little bit more of an issue. Could have very easily landed that shot, but I guess I decided not to. Good job, friends. They are defending me very well. I'm going to go ahead and try and start defending them. All right. Got a partial charge. Your partial charges are like 60, I believe, or something like that. But they are good for finishing off those if you do just, you know, get rushed and you lose all of your other charges. I'm going to try and just pressure this guy. There we go. He ran into my shot. Very nice. I'm going to give them a cooler. And just kind of stall this here. Again, chargers are very nice on a spot zones mode because you can kind of just stall things. And once you do get in control, it's very nice to just be able to do. Unfortunately, they do have a guy throwing, but it was too late into the match for, I believe, to matter. So we're going to count this game. All right, match number three. We have double backline, and they do not. Though they do have double booyah bombs, so we'll see how that is. They're going to be a very aggressive team compared to ours. But you'll kind of just be trying to play to get in and stay in. Unfortunately, it was just poking that, um, what's it called? Spluttershot Pro a little too much. We are actually losing fights here at the start. Not great. I need to stay behind and, and be supportive and not just be the aggressor here. That's not really my job. My job is to try and help make sure my teammates have paint to move down through. Unfortunately, I'm still just being too far ahead of our teammates. I really wish our teammates would move a little bit further forward because they're kind of just in that one corner and that got them quartered um, from the Booyah Bomb. Hopefully. There we go. You're dead. Uh, I'm going to try and stop this zone push here. Hold on. You're heavily damaged. Hopefully, our teammates uh, can help take this guy out. There we go. Good job gonna try and climb up here i do believe their blaster is 
pushing at a weird angle. Okay, I don't really want to go that direction because they are just all rushing it. It's going to try and shoot in one spot. Hopefully, they or I get to pre-fire into it. I can't really make good predictions here since they are probably going to try and rush us on all sides like that. Does he? He does not have Ninja Squid. He just uses the um, Booyah Bomb as a smoke bomb. Okay, right now we're not doing too particularly great. Hold on. There we go. You're dead. I've got to back up here. There's that Zuka. Unfortunately, Zuka is being Zuka there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to win this. I think I think our aggressive teammates are just being a little too passive. Um, we have two. Hold on. Try and help out with this guy. Okay. Yeah, no. We never just got in there. Unfortunately, I guess I was just playing too aggressively there. I don't really know what to do because everyone was just dead too often. Not a great match at all. And that's why double backline can be a curse because if your aggressive teammates are trying to play support, which is what generally their weapons are for, um, a splash neo and a custom jet squelcher, or not jet squelchers, but a custom dually squelchers, they are made to be more supportive and that's probably what they were trying to do, but they really needed to be the slayers of that match, not the backlines. All right, game number four. I'll try to take a back seat here since I was just being too aggressive last match. Again, I should have tried to force my teammates to move forward because that was their job. And I was just trying to do the thing that I was afraid he didn't have enough of. Where a panic can really set in like that. Okay, I'm just going to try and stay here. I'm going to watch for any flanks on the map. And I'll just use my range to try and help out that or two. I do believe I hear someone moving off this way. Yeah, there's someone. I uh, obviously see them through um, our point sensor. I believe point sensors. No, we don't have point sensors. I'm going to say it's probably ink mines then. All right, I'm going to go for full charge here. Again, just trying to do our best to stay back line. I'll give my friends team support with paint whenever they need it. All right, got some chip damage on that guy. I'm going to have to back up here. I have plenty of space and paint here to actually see anyone trying to rush me, though. I just want to save my shots for that. All right, we'll go for some paint. I've got my special now, so I get a free instant refill. There we go. I'm just going to try and punish anyone going off to the left here. Okay. There we go. He just rushed me straight. Thankfully, I did not die to that bomb. I was afraid I would have. I uh, wouldn't put it past myself to do that. Uh, get the blaster. Okay, good job. And I'm going to get back up on my semi-perch. It's not really a perch, but it does stand good for high vantage points. Right. I'm just going to keep an eye on this guy. He actually moved past, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he did. Okay, I'm going to back up once again. Just make sure no one can rush me. I'm going to do my job as the back line and play the back line. That's why it's called a back line, because you play far back. Okay, we've got two people I assume are going to try and rush here. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'm not really sure why the carbon is trying to run me over, but oh well. Unfortunately, just got kind of triple tag team there. I should have took note there uh, that our teammates were dead and just backed off. Because that's that's what your job is. You're tr trying to lose as little space as possible while still putting up a thought. And staying alive. Okay, well, if carbon wants to do that, I'm fine with that. He's just kind of wasting everyone's time. Well, now Izuka is actually pretty smart to wait for that. But he still didn't get us with it. I don't really know what I want to do here. I think I just want to help out with paint. He's using that. I missed the shot, but hopefully our uh, Brella can get him. There we go. Ah, oh, man. If I only aimed up a little bit higher. You can tell my aim is just not on point today. All right. We'll take that kill there. Very nice. Gonna watch this shot here. Thankfully, he only needed one hit to die. Give a cooler to my teammates. We're actually doing pretty well here. I, I, I'm starting to get a little too aggressive here. Keeping it on the bottom side here, making sure no one's pushing forward. I'm gonna go ahead and try and give some paint support. All right, there's Zuka. We'll just wipe that out. Don't really have a great... So that's good. I like that he wasted his bubble over there. But I don't have a lot of paint here to just kind of keep up as much pressure as I would like here. There we go. There we go. Good job, teammates. And there we go. There is our third and final win. All right. There's three wins with the Sniper Rider 5H.
didn't do the best, especially game three. I was just getting a little too paranoid and trying to rush in and be the Slayer when you're obviously not the Slayer. Um, other than that, game four actually went pretty well. I was doing my job, not going in as much as I was the first two matches or first three matches, I guess. And putting down a couple of coolers, I think realistically you would want to be throwing out your sprinkler a lot more, which is not something I'm really used to. But you're wanting to get those coolers more often than I really was, and you might want to swap out your gear for something like that. But I've got the run speed that helps out with the Snap Rider. It helps it move around a lot faster. Um, you've got special power up. This lets your coolers last longer. I think the effectiveness of the drink itself lasts like a, maybe a couple of seconds longer. I don't remember the exact numbers, but I know at least one sub is very nice to have. Special charge, ink recovery. Ink recovery reduces your downtime, and special charge lets you get more coolers. Again, you might want to run more special charge, and you might even change out your shoes for that. I just really like stealth jump. It is nice to just be able to have in case something happens and you're having to jump back in. Um, again, you might swap out for something a little more useful in your eyes. Either way, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a comment below and maybe even consider subscribing. Until next time, bye.